This is the Vintage Tractor Engineer. Today we're going to show you how to fit a piston into its liner using a piston ring compressor tool. The reason for using the tool for this job is because the rings sit prouder than the piston and need to be squeezed up evenly and tightly before we can push it down into the bar. Before we can fit the tool to the piston we need to oil all the rings and the piston so that it's lubricated as it goes in. Once we've got the bar and the piston smothered in oil, we need to turn the appropriate piston rings so that the end gaps are not together. A situation like that is not suitable. They need to be in different places around the piston. It is a bit tricky because every time you move one, the other one moves as well. So there, so we've got the ring gap spread out around the piston. I've set the piston up on some bits of cardboard. I've also oiled inside the tool. We can fit the tool and tighten it up, making sure we get all the rings inside the tool. And then once it's firmly squeezed, holding all the rings tightly in, using a piece of wood or something similarly soft, take out the wedges, and slowly but surely, tapping the piston. Don't forget to make sure the piston is the right way around and if it bumps against something solid or you think you're not right take it out and do it again. Don't break anything. Once the piston is fitted we can just slacken off the ring compressor ready for its next use. Do not unwind it with the key it will break the bands. Just let it spring open gently on its own as so. There, it's ready for next time now. This was the vintage track engineer.com. See you next time.